location here on W211 your day and that means the imagination station is with us. Sarah is talking about carbonation. Yes, good morning. So we are actually getting ready to start our next session of little scientists workshops. Okay. And this is a series that we've created for our littlest scientists who are ages three to five. Um, and one of those topics that we cover is solids, liquids, and gas. Now I have a bottle of Sprite here. It's a solid container. We can see the liquid inside, but there's also gas in there. And there's actually this much gas in there. So this much gas really? is like shoved in there with that much liquid. But it's dissolved in the liquid, so it's hard for us to see. And gas is invisible usually, right? Right. Yes. So what we can do is if I actually crack the top, we can Open hear... Open the Sprite, you can hear some of the gas being released. Yeah, so we can hear that gas being released. And actually, if I pour some into my beaker, now we can see it's getting kind of bubbly and fizzy. Mm -hmm. And that's a good visual because that is the gas that is inside our liquid. Woo. Okay. All right. Now we can see that it's starting to gather on the edges of the glass, and that's because my glass is imperfect. Mm -hmm. There are like little scratches and things inside, and that causes the um, dissolved gas or the carbon dioxide to come out of the solution. It forms into a bubble, and then actually those bubbles will actually float towards the surface. Um, but we can actually take this a little bit farther. So what we can do is we can have our little scientists put some Mentos in there. So go ahead and throw those in your beaker. Now you can see that we are seeing a lot more bubbles. Go ahead and throw them all in. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can see a lot of bubbles coming out of the solution more rapidly now. And that's because our Mentos are actually covered in tiny pits or nucleation sites. All right. And again, that's that spot where the um, bubbles can form. And actually, if you take a look at our Mentos, they are completely covered in tiny bubbles. Okay, but now that gas is coming to the surface, the bubbles are popping, and it's just being released. We sure. still can't see it. Right. Okay, so another good visual that we can use for our little scientists is this one. So go ahead and carefully take the lid off of that. Okay, so we can hear the carbonation released again. Now I want you to take that balloon and fit it over the top. Okay, because we're going to try and capture all of that gas that we are releasing now. So I'll hold that for you. Okay. All right. Seems All right, so, to be on tight, we hope. Yep. So what you're going to do is go ahead and start shaking that. And by okay. shaking it, <laughs> what you're doing is you're actually agitating the liquid and you're allowing those bubbles to be released from the liquid. So while you're doing that, ooh, I'm going to do the same thing. And you know, we can see our balloons starting to fill up. We're capturing that gas. And what I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to, I actually have Mentos inside my balloon. Okay. So I'm going to drop Mentos in mine, and we'll see if that changes our reaction at all. Okay, maybe. There we go. Whoa. Okay. A little bit more vigorous <laughs> there. Right? But what I can do is I actually don't even really have to shake mine too much because we have our Mentos acting as the nucleation site. You can see it's like bubbling and doing all kinds of crazy things in there. Now, I spilled just a little bit of liquid, but our balloons look fairly similar. Sure. And actually, if I move these and we put our uh, bottles side by side, there's actually the same amount of liquid in both bottles mm -hmm. still, and we've captured all of the gas that was in that liquid inside of our balloons. Right. So now this is a really good visual for our little kids, our little scientists, because they can see that gas. And I mean, if we ask them what's inside a balloon, they might say nothing. Right. But there's air, there's gas in there. Right. You just can't visually see it. For right. the little scientists that you guys are kind of trying to help out, it's a good yeah. visual to understand exactly what's going on. So tell me what's going on at the Imagination Station then, with the little scientists? Well, those uh, workshops actually start up in March, so you can register on our website right okay. now. It's imaginationstationtoledo.org. All right, Sarah, thank you so much. You're Appreciate welcome. your time and coming on in to show us a little bit more science. Stick with us more. Your day coming up in just a moment.